Hey, Most Amazing Top 10 family, I'm your host, Chay Dorena, and welcome back to Most Amazing Top 10. What are the chances that you ran into someone you went to high school with in this random town you were in? Wow, small world. This must be super rare. Well, it's kind of rare, but there are things going on in the universe that trump the rarity of that happening a million times over. I mean, how many Big Bangs have there been? Hmm? Well, we are going to take a look into some of the most unlikely events that have ever happened with today's list of top 10 rarest events in the universe. For those of you at home who want to find some more Most Amazing Top 10 content, then you should check us out on Instagram and Facebook because we have so much content over there for you guys that you guys are going to want to check out and that you're going to love. Also, you're going to want to stick around until the end of this video because I'm going to be doing some more pet shout outs that you guys love so much much. Remember, if you want me to shout out your pet, you can hit me up on Instagram. And without taking any longer, let's get into this list. At number 10, we have the Leonid Comet Storm. People say when you see a shooting star, you should make a wish and it will come true. Well, if that's the case, then when you go to this comet storm, you should basically bank up on everything you've ever wanted ever because you're going to get so many wishes, you're going to run out of stuff to wish for. You're going to be rich, ripped, immortal, everything. The Leonid Comet Storm comes once every 33 years. So if you're lucky, you'll maybe be able to get to see it three times in your life. Most people will never see this bad boy ever, and a lot of people don't even know it exists. It is a magical and mysterious encounter, and you shouldn't miss it. The whole thing isn't very long. It comes and goes in about 15 minutes, but during that time, you can expect to see somewhere between 900 to 1,000 comets every minute. That's a universal wonder that will blow your mind. Back to my original point, that means you could walk out of there with 15,000 wishes. I don't even know what I would want after the first 100. I'd be like, man, I guess give me like a hot tub full of hot dogs that are made of gold. Like, I got nothing else. At number 9, we have the Suicidal Comet. Space is nearly endless, making it literally impossible to keep track of everything that's going on in the vast void. But every now and again, we get to catch something on camera that might be a once-in-a-lifetime moment. Back in 2013, some of the smartest people in the world over at NASA were looking through the massive Hubble telescope, and they witnessed something amazing. A comet blasting through space, and then coming in contact with the rays of the sun. A large portion of comets are ice so this caused the comet to start melting and then break apart into 10 pieces flying all in their own directions. Each piece of the comet probably weighed some around 200,000 pounds based on its size. Now this happens all the time in space but to actually see it happen live is nearly a miracle. And number eight, we have the sighting of the Hale-Bopp Comet. This comet is blasting around our solar system and it has a much longer trajectory than we do. We all know it takes us one year for us to go all the way around the sun and every time we do, everyone gets drunk and parties because that's just what we do. We don't question it, we don't need to question it, it is just tradition. Well, this comet takes a little bit more time than we do and by a little bit more, I mean it takes 2,392 years for it to make a full rotation around the sun. So you can suspect that this comet is very far away. Well, 1995, it was close enough that it was spotted through a telescope. If you're wondering how close it was, it was the closest it's ever been. And just so you know, that was still 120 million miles away. So you're not going to be able to visit this thing anytime soon. With the tech we have now, spotting something like this isn't as difficult. But back then, spotting the hale Bop comet was so rare and it was masterful to see. And number seven is the 1914 beer flood. All of England has a great history of consuming beer, and there was one occasion where beer tried to consume them. This was in London. A massive brewery was brewing a massive vat of beer. That's kind of self-explanatory. And when I say massive, I mean this thing was enormous. It had 1.2 million liters of beer inside of it. That's enough for me and all my ancestors to get drunk for years. Well, there was an old rusted bolt that was holding part of this rig together, and it didn't hold at all. The bolt couldn't manage the weight of this mega brew, and it gave way. A massive flood of beer swept through the town, killing nine people. And number six, we have the total eclipse. If you saw the total eclipse in 2012, then be happy, because you're not going to get another chance in your lifetime, unless you find a way to extend your life by a lot. This event happens once every 138 years. Now, you might get to see a partial eclipse every now and again, 
but the full eclipse is super rare. And come to think of it, I'm pretty sure I missed it, which is kind of a bummer. But we'll probably have a way to recreate it through VR pretty soon, so I'll just wait for that. I won't even be able to tell that it isn't real. At number five, we have the Great White Thunderstorm. If you do something and it takes 30 years to build up, then you know it's going to be good. The Great White Thunderstorm happens once every two to three decades in the northern part of Saturn. It is an insanely large thunderstorm. If a thunderstorm that large happened on our planet, it would most likely destroy civilization as we know it. The storm itself is half the size of Earth, and the lightning bolts that are flying around and vaporizing all the moisture in the area are 10,000 times larger than any lightning bolt we have here on Earth. You know those stories you hear about people getting hit by lightning and they just walk away? Well, if you got hit by one of these, your skeleton wouldn't even be left. That would get vaporized as well. It would just be like, you just would disappear in a flash or something. Not to mention that the lightning is firing at an insane rate. You can see somewhere around 10 bolts of lightning every second. It makes me second guess our whole going to other planets sort of thing. I don't know if I want to visit anywhere else. Maybe we'll need to check out another space that is a little safer to humans before we try to go to Saturn. Something with nice weather. Lightning bolts that don't rip an entire planet apart. At number four, we have Dry Niagara. Could you imagine going to Niagara Falls and then you see there's not a drop of water moving through the falls? That would be a shock. You would think that the end of the world was about to happen and that there is no more water left. That we're all going to be fighting over the remaining clean water in a matter of days and it's going to be an all out apocalypse. And you wouldn't be wrong for thinking that, but this wouldn't be the case at all. If just to let you know, if you see dry Niagara Falls, there's nothing to worry about. There's only been one time that the falls has stopped running and it was a man-made event. More than half the falls were dammed off so that repairs could be done to the natural wildlife and agriculture in the area to make sure that everything could stay a majestic wonder. Now the problem is, this lack of falls would mean less people venture out there to go to see them. Well actually, the exact opposite effect happened. More people came out. Everyone wanted to see what Niagara Falls would look like with nothing flowing through it. But once the repairs were done and all the water was released, everything kind of went back to normal we have the Carrington event. This has been talked about often. What if a solar flare hit Earth? Well, in 1859, it happened. In the middle of the night, scientist Richard Carrington was observing the night sky, and a blast of color lit up the sky and stayed there. All over the world, people could see what looked like the northern lights, the aurora borealis, but it didn't go away. It stayed up there for quite some time, and it was beautiful. It had a not-so-beautiful effect, though. The electromagnetic energy zapped all all the telegraph wires and destroyed them. Now think about if something like this happened now. There is way more technology on the planet that would be affected by this electromagnetic blast. Depending on the intensity, the outcome could change our lives as we know it. We might see a huge portion of the world lose power, or we might have every phone and computer on the planet explode, and maybe even the internet would go down for who knows how long. And number two, we have the death of smallpox. I've talked about smallpox on the channel before, with all the scary things going on with COVID-19. We have been doing a lot of deep dives into other illnesses, but the good thing about smallpox is that it has a happy ending. Smallpox used to be one of the most deadly diseases on the planet. Even in the 60s, it was still killing about 2 million people every year. And even if you survived, there was a good chance that you would have permanent scarring all over your body, and it could make you go blind. But then a vaccine was made to fight back against this beast. And with a time investment of 10 years and a financial investment of around $100 million, we saw this sickness destroyed forever. There hasn't been a case of smallpox since 1979. And hopefully we will see more scientific breakthroughs like this in the near future. For the number one spot, we have the curing of HIV. The reason I'm putting this at the number one spot on the list is not only because it only happened once, but also the way that the doctors were able to cure this disease. This was the case of Timothy Brown. Timothy was suffering from HIV and decided that he would opt into an experimental program to see if he could cure this disease. It was dangerous, painful, and the chances of success were completely unknown. This is how the treatment would work. He would receive a bone marrow transplant from a donor that had a rare mutation. This strange and extremely unique mutation created immune cells that were resistant to HIV. This transplant happened in 2007, and since then, Timothy Brown has been rid of his awful sickness, and this has created new hope in the area of research against HIV. Unfortunately, because this treatment is so rare and hard to replicate, doctors have not been able to perfect this treatment a second time, but it has taken them a step closer in the fight for curing HIV. 
All right, everyone, that has been our list. Thank you all so much for tuning in. As promised, I am going to be doing some more pet shout outs. Remember, if you want me to shout out your pet, you can hit me up on Instagram. I pick new pets every day. So if you don't get picked one day, message back another day. I usually pick two messages last. You can message me as many times as you want. If it takes me a little while to get back to you, I'm very sorry. I have a lot of these to do. And without taking any longer, let's get into this list. First off, we have Silver, who's having an amazing cat nap. I am very jealous of that cat. Next, we have Ember, who has some of the best coloration on a cat I have ever seen. Very cool. After that, we have Bubbles, who is just chilling outside in the sun, which makes me so jealous because I miss doing that. Then we got Doug, which is such a good name for a dog. Met a lot of dogs in my day, and a lot of them should have been Dugs. And to cap it out, we have Gidget, who looks super cute with those pointy ears. I love it so much. All right, everyone, that has been our list. Thank you all so much for tuning in. As always, I would love it if you could like, comment, subscribe, and hit the little notification bell. Until next time, I've been your host, Chaterana, and keep your eyes open for rare events happening around you. Bye.